recording financial information. In this module, we will be doing few more practice to concrete our knowledge on recording financial information in the accounting equation. So let's start. So we have to choose possible effects of the transactions on accounting equation. Number one is goods purchased on credit. Yeah, now recall your knowledge. Buying goods on credit, these are the credit transaction, yes, and increasing stock, yes. So, increasing stock means, yes, increase in asset, and since it is a credit transaction, it is increasing our liability. Whenever we buy goods, yes, we have to pay suppliers in future. So, making payment in future is our liability. So, it is increasing our liability. It is increasing our obligation. Well, next. Paid utility bills. Okay, before I move forward, just recall, what do you do when you pay your utility bill? Either that is of your own residence or that belongs to your office. If you have paid by yourself, yes, what do you do? Yeah, you make payment in cash. For that, utility bill. So making payment in cash will reduce cash. And cash is our asset. So decrease in asset. And utility bill. Yes, it is our expense. So expense will reduce our equity. Look, by definition, expenses reduce owner's equity. So whenever there is increase in expense, there will be decrease in owner's equity. And if you do recall in the last module in which we practiced an example, yes, I told you that incomes minus expenses is equal to profit. So whenever there is expense, it is Reducing our profit and reducing our profit means decrease in owner's equity. So, it is important tip to remember. Well, next comes sold goods on profit for 200. Well, sold goods, it's income. Yes, it is our income. It is giving us profit of 200. At the same time, whenever we would be selling goods, we'll be receiving cash. Would you like to sell your goods without receiving cash? Yes, if it is a credit transaction, okay, then you will be receiving cash in future. Well, so in this transaction, when we are selling goods on profit, it is reducing our stock as well. So, stock is an asset. So, it is reducing our asset as well as it is increasing our asset. Which asset is increasing? Cash. Well, and which asset is decreasing? Stock. But at the same time, since we are having a profit and profit will increase our equity. Agreed? Good. Next comes paid to trade creditors. Okay. What you will pay to the creditors? Obviously cash or cash equivalent in terms of check or pure cash. Well, so when you are making payment in cash, it is reducing our assets, assets of the entity. And at the same time, it is reducing our liability. Yes, creditors are liability. So it is decreasing asset and it is decreasing liability. Next comes cash invested by owner. I'll stop you over here and just recall the separate entity concept. Yes, separate entity concept tells us that yes, yes, excellent. Owner's equity in a way owner and the entity are two separate entities. 
or business has separate entity apart from its owner. Okay. So, whenever we say separate entity concept, this com concept is coming from the accounting point of view. This is what we have already learned that this is not a legal entity concept. This is an accounting separate entity concept. So, in this concept, what do we concentrate on? We concentrate on the concept that if owner is bringing cash in the business, we will analyze this transaction from the business point of view because the business has separate entity apart from its owner. We will not say that owner is making payment of cash. Rather, we will say that business is receiving cash as capital. So, business is receiving cash as capital means increase in cash asset. So, it is increase in asset as well as increase in owner's equity because now there is an increase in capital which is increasing the claim of owner on the business since owner has given his personal resources to the entity. Well, next comes owner buys a new car from personal resource. Again comes separate entity concept. Yes. Tell me, if owner is buying car from his personal resources, do we see any connection of this transaction with the business, with the entity? No. Because here in this transaction, cash of the entity is not being utilized. The cash that the owner is using is coming from his personal resources. The business resources are intact. So, you are very right. There is no effect on it. Good. Next comes goods lost in fire. So, loss is an expense. When loss is an expense, it means that this loss is reducing our owner's equity. So, reducing our owner's equity because of loss is there as well as this is a loss of stock because these goods were in the stock and stock is taken as an asset. So, it is decreasing our asset as well as it is decreasing our equity. Agreed? Next comes drawing of goods by the owner. So, this drawing of goods is again reducing stock which was asset and it is in fact increasing the drawings and drawings ultimately reduce our equity. So, because of this very transaction, the asset will be decreased and at the same time, equity will be decreased. Agreed? Drawings means, drawings is terminology that we use whenever owner takes business resources out of the business for his personal use. This terminology is drawing. So, drawing always causes a decrease in owner's equity. Next comes loan taken from loan, from bank. Loan taken from bank. So, when we are taking loan from bank, Yes, it is increasing our liability because we have to pay back to the bank. So, loan is taken from bank. What we will be taking in terms of loan from bank? Obviously, cash. So, it is increasing our asset. And at the same time, it is increasing our liability because taking loan from bank is increasing our liability increasing our obligation against which we have to make payment. The cash will outflow from the business in future. So, it's a liability today. And received commission. When we are receiving commission, commission is 
look, this is our business, supposedly. This is our business to receive commission. We are dealing in something against which we receive commission. So when we are receiving commission, this is our income. And whenever there is increase in income, it will increase our equity. Okay? And what we are receiving in terms of commission? Cash. So we are receiving cash means increase in asset. And we are receiving cash for what? As commission. So this commission is our income. And income causes an increase in owner's equity. Thank you.